What's up guys? This is the start of my NZ vlog. I just finished Mykonos. I just got off like a massive like 25 hour flight. I'm in Australia at the moment, but I'm in Sydney. Flying back to the Gold Coast to grab my bags. And then I'm heading straight down to Queenstown after I grab my bags. So yeah, I feel like I like pushed it a bit much. Like I feel like I'm getting sick. Like I'm like, freaking out. <laughs> I'm freaking out, but fuck it, whatever, I don't even care. Like, it's gonna be sick. I'm gonna have such a good time at NZ. <coughs> so yeah, I gotta pick up my, all of my winter clothes um, and just take them straight to NZ, drop off my summer bag clothes from uh, Mykonos. Anyway, while I'm here and while I've got you, uh, I wanna show you some of my essentials of like your must. <laughs> I want to show you some essentials of what you should pack when you're traveling, what you must pack, okay? Now, this is what I always take. I always take a bag with me on board. And in that bag, when you're doing long flights, oh, this light's really killing me. It's killing my vibe. Is this better? <laughs> I'm like an idiot. So I always take my facial wipes. These are the facial wipes that I take. These are amazing for like taking off your makeup at night time, taking off all, the mo all of your moisturizer and like oils or whatever's on your face. I always have my moisturizer, which I take with me as well. I love this. I always take this. I also take the Soul Moisturizer. You can get this from the body shop. This is really nice to put on like, um, especially like when you get like fake tan and stuff. If you have fake tan or you get dry skin, I love putting this on my body, on my arms, on my legs. It has a really nice smell to it as well. It smells like cocoa butter. It's amazing. So I love taking that. I just feel fresh when I apply it. Deodorant is a must. Please take deodorant. Don't be one of those stinky people on the planes. Can't handle stinky people. I just can't. Um, also mints. You've got to take mints. Um, I've also packed this um, watermelon glow sleeping mask with me. Ladies and gentlemen, master final three for the last So yeah, this is the mask that I always take with me. And what you can do is you can put it on on the plane. So like after you use your wipes, what I usually do is I apply my mask. And I leave that on, I either sleep in it or I leave it on for about 10 or 15 minutes and then I wipe it off and then I put my moisturizer on. I also use one of these romantic bear lip balls. These are really nice. I got this from my girlfriend Jessie. Um, but yeah, you like apply it to your lips like this. So good. And it lasts so long. Um, I also take a little bowl of mouthwash. And what else do I take? I also take my rosehip oil with me everywhere I go. I always apply this to my face after I've applied my moisturizer. It stops my face from getting really dry. And also bio oil just for my skin around my neck. Also because I just got my boobs done as well. So I always apply the bio oil to my scars. Um, and I also have hay fever tablets too. I don't know if you guys get hay fever but I always suffer from hay fever so I take those. After you've been traveling on like a huge flight and you're about to like go in into the world, um, sometimes you're like, I don't know about you guys, but my eyes get really dry and they go really red. So I always carry clear eyes with me. So I always put those in before like, um, before I'm getting off the plane. Really handy to have on board on you as well because there's nothing worse than having red eyes after a long flight. Um, I also take my toothbrush, hair ties. I don't need these. And that's pretty much it. That's like everything that keeps me covered for my long flights. And I also always carry my travel pillow. I cannot go through a flight without my travel pillow. Like, my travel pillow is live. Oh my god. I just got home. My flight was delayed to get to the Gold Coast. Um, so yeah, I have to leave at 4.30. And the time now is 2.16 in the morning. Oh my god. I can't be bothered. I just want to stay home now. <laughs> Jokes. Alright, let's do this. This is my Mykonos bag, which I have to unpack. And this bag here is my Queenstown bag, which has all of my snow stuff in it. It's actually so cold here in Australia. I look like a wreck. Don't judge me. I've been traveling for like 30 hours. T solves everything. I 
I'm literally running off one hour's sleep. I'm actually dying right now. It's like 4 a.m. It's about midday in Queenstown right now. I've just arrived. Um, I'm staying at the QT Hotel. I'm so jet lagged. Um, so I don't really know what I want to do. I'm probably just going to check in, suss the place out a little bit, maybe hit the town. But at the moment, yeah, not really too much is going on. But this place is so beautiful. I have so much to show you guys. Alright, I've just arrived. Just checked in um, to the QT with Halo Top. So I'm going to go upstairs and show you guys my room. I'm so excited. Jokes. Oh my god, I can't get in. Oh my god, I actually can't do it. Oh my god, I'm retarded. I'm too jet lagged for this. Do I hold it? Oh, I got it. <laughs> this is so pretty. <gasps> oh my god, I'm dying. You had me at Halo. What? I need this ice cream. Oh my god, the detailing. I'm absolutely in love with this. What? This is incredible. I'm cold. Let's spoon. Oh my god, I love bathrobes. Thank you, QT and Halo Top for hooking me up. This is absolutely amazing. Oh my god, what? Wow, I love these. Wow, what's in this fridge? Let me just have a look. Oh, oh my god, bye. Yep, I'm having like all of these. Thank you very much. <gasps> oh my god, yum. <gasps> the bin. <laughs> wow, and this is my room. I'm cold. Let's spoon. Oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. <gasps> what? And this is the view from my room. Oh my god, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Thank you so much Halo Top and QT for having me. This is amazing. Wow, I'm too blessed to be stressed right now. Like honestly. Oh, it's so snug in here. Oh, so happy. I love it. Like guys, I just literally did 30 hours of traveling. So, um, yeah, I'm going to, like, recuperate in this beautiful place um, with Halo Top. And, yeah, I'm going to get my room service. going to have my hot bath and just put my hair down and just absolutely just relax. Like, just take it all in. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's like an orgasm in my mouth right now. Oh, my God, bro. What do you mean? Good morning, guys. I've just woken up. Um, I had room service last night. It was absolutely amazing. Um, I just pretty much chilled and I was out like a light. <laughs> I actually ordered some food from the Halo Top menu because, like, why not, you know? So, while that's coming up, I'm going to get ready to go out and do something. I might just go for a wander in town, show you guys what's around. Um, uh, excuse me. This looks absolutely ridiculous so this is the sea salt caramel cookie dough sandwich bye <laughs> looks so good and i also treated myself to a hot chocolate because why not can you guys see that boat so massive guys i just went on like the biggest walk it was so nice, it's so cold, like my hands are like freezing right now. It's like two degrees, it's crazy, but it's so peaceful out here, it's just so quiet. It's the perfect place to go for a walk and to go exploring. But I'm gonna go grab a hot chocolate now, I think, because I'm so cold. Guys, I just checked out of the QT in Queenstown um, and I've just checked into Peppers. It's so funny because I caught a cab but it was next door. 
So I shouldn't have really caught a cab. I could have just walked. It was so embarrassing. I could have died. Anyway, I'm going to show you my room. You guys are going to have a meltdown. Okay, so first of all, this is one of the rooms. Like, this is the first room. Um, obviously, like, it's a guest room. It has, like, a bathroom over here. You come down here, and you have got the kitchen. Also, they left this very cute fondue set with this beautiful note right here. Oh, my God. Yum. I'm going to, like, literally dive into that tonight. Mira, what's up guys? Um, and yeah, this is the living area that I have. We have got a little fireplace right here, which I'm so turning on. And I'm gonna watch a movie tonight, I think, and just chill. This is the view from my balcony, like, it's so beautiful. This door just completely opens up. It's absolutely huge. And these are the Remarkables right here, like, can we just like take this in for a moment? I feel like my camera does not do it justice at all. I was up there before at the QT. <laughs> I was in there. That's so funny. MTV, welcome to my cribs. Take two. So this is my room here. This is the master's ensuite. Um, it also has a bathtub as well. And you guys know that I love my bathtubs. Um, and yeah, this is the... Bathroom definitely huge. I feel like it's way too big for just me like I need to have some friends here And this lighting is on point. It's kind of too much. Wow. I was supposed to go snowboarding at the remarkables today But I slept in I just I fell asleep and I didn't wake up until it was too late this morning It was like 9 30 had to pack had to check out. It was really hectic um, And I've just dropped my stuff off. It's like two o'clock but I saved something for you guys. Today I missed out on going to the snow, but I can bring some snow to you. So this is what I've done. I'm gonna set it up and I'm gonna show you. Do you wanna build a snowman? Okay, come with me. It's happening. We're getting snow one way or the other. It's, oh my God. <laughs> That's a hazard. Okay. You good? Okay, so basically I saw this in the little condiment section instant snow So I have got my gloves. I don't even know if you need gloves, but I want to get into the snow spirit I didn't come all the way to New Zealand to not get into the snow spirit. I want no judgment I actually need my hands to like maneuver this <laughs> Instant snow just add water to make fantastically fluffy snow Easy. Should work pretty easy. <gasps> oh my god. It literally looks like crack. I think I just like open this. Fuck, I need to do this. One sec. <laughs> I got it. Okay, so. Kids, don't do this at home. <laughs> How much water do I have? Add water for instant snow. It's supposed to be in the cup. Right. <clears throat> Here we go. Oh my god, what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's going everywhere. How do I even get it out? Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> wow, that's still a support. This is what happens when I travel alone. Oh my god, what? That is so cool. actually snowing bro <laughs> good morning I'm going to the Remarkables today I'm gonna go for a snowboard and then after that I'm gonna head to Nugget Hill or something and then go and have like a nice like spa after snowboarding so I thought that would be really nice to do and take you guys around with me I'm not the best snowboarder I can kind of snowboard so expect me to be eating a lot of shit today on the slopes like that's what i'm expecting like my body is just gonna be like this 
just object that's just gonna get thrown all around the mountains. If you go snowboarding is obviously beanie helps. Um, is really good, like keeps your head warm. Um, you can wear like helmets and stuff, but I'm not gonna wear a helmet because I'm a cool kid. And also one of these is really good as well because it like covers your your mouth and everything while you snowboard, which is nice. Um, also wear heaps of layers, like I've got, so like under your jacket, so you know, you don't get too cold or anything. I'm a cold frog. I get really, really cold. Other people are different. Um, I just wear this like thermal skivvy thing that's like long sleeve and I also have like a really light jumper under it. I bought like these tights with me to put under my ski pants. One thing that you cannot forget and also don't buy it in New Zealand because it costs so much. Like I'm talking like two to three hundred dollars it will cost you if you buy them here. Um, make sure you buy some woolen socks that are really thick. These are really thick woolen socks and they actually protect your feet um, from the boots because the boots are really hard. There's no padding in them. They're really hard and they'll hurt your ankles so much. So make sure you take really wooden woolen socks. And then I also bought a bikini to take to the hot pools. I'm ready to go. I'm probably just gonna walk there because I'm at Peppers at the moment. It's only like a maybe like a 10 minute walk to the bus ramp. It costs $35 to get onto the bus to take you to the Remarkables. So, yo, I'm so triggered. I was just recording and it wasn't even recording. I didn't press the record button. But what I was saying was make sure you bring some gloves as well. Don't buy the gloves here in New Zealand. They will cost you so much. It's just like, it's ridiculous. It's slits for a while now probably gonna head off and go have a nice spa um, at this beautiful place called like Nugget Springs or something but it's so it looks really good but yeah this is me now I've honestly like eaten, eaten dust like so much like I almost, I almost like snapped my shoulder off going down one of these slopes but <coughs> it's totally worth it it's so much fun um, yeah, I'm having the best time. I love, honestly love Queenstown so much. It's a beautiful place.